Meet the brand new Cayman. Porsche's mid-engine sports car has been rebuilt from the ground up. It's lighter, more powerful and more efficient than before. Today I'm testing two brand new Caymans so that I can settle a petrol head pub debate. These are mechanically identical apart from their transmissions. This has a manual gearbox, whereas this one has a double clutch semi-automatic style. Now, a few years ago, we would have gone for the manual because it's much more fun to drive, but these are getting better every day. So this could be the first car where people like us go for the semi-automatic version. To help me find out which is best, I'm being joined by Finnish double world rally champion, Marcus Gronholm, a man with ice running through his veins. We're going to race the cars head to head in a one kilometer drag race and then over a flying lap. But first, we need to decide who drives what. Marcus Grano, rallying legend. Double world chat champion, yeah? Yep. Which years? 2000 and 2002. I can still see you've got that look in your eye though. Yes, there. it's there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, why don't we toss to see who gets to, to choose yes. which car? So, heads or heads. tails? Tails it is. Oh. I'm a generous man. I'm going to let you have the PDK. Thank you. Done. Round one. Fancy a bit of this. Porsche's semi-auto is called PDK and has two clutches, enabling the next gear to be pre-selected before you need it. That means faster changes than the manual and no interruption to the engine's power delivery. Can you hear me at the finish line? What's going on? Look at that! You can see that each gear change is just edged away. Come on! Once we got to say 80, 90 mile an hour, there was nothing between the cars. <laughs> I hate, hate losing. The system is, is good and uh, shifting is easy. Ah! Clearly, it was, it was quicker there. Yes. Ah! Well, I'll tell you what, Mark, because you can clearly see that that PDK is a better gearbox, quicker, isn't it? It's quicker. But then, when I got the, uh, the speed up... You had no chance. He talks a good game, this lad, doesn't he? Yes. Right, time for a race. We're going to remove the PDK's advantage off the line by having a flying start. We'll both drive as quickly as possible over two laps. If I'm beaten by a rally driver in an automatic, well, it'd be hell on. Now, there is one benefit of having the manual, and that is the transmission is a lot simpler and therefore lighter, some 30 kilograms lighter. So, in theory, this should handle this manual car a little bit better than the PDK. Drag race is one thing, but now we're going to get in my domain, on tarmac, on a track. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Rolling start, yes, I was a little bit behind in the, in the start. And now, see, I've got the line here. Ah, I think I love that. I had the line for the first corner, but he had a slightly quicker car up through the gears. Oh, he's trying it on. Good lad. Uh, in the second quarter, I overtook him then. Oh, yeah, tell you what, he knows how to drive a car, does that, lad? Oh, he's a bit early on the brakes there. I've caught up. Right, he's left the gap for me. <laughs> You're not coming through there, body lad. I have to catch him. <laughs> and we're away! Tell you what, on the limit of these things, it's so beautifully balanced. A little bit of oversee, nothing, no drama. Didn't really feel the need to correct it, and we've got him lead. Let's not make a mistake of these two. He's a, ra a racing driver, so you need to be smooth and, and not, not the rally style. <laughs> a little bit of showboat in there, showman. He do a bit of skidding and sliding. I must beat him. And we got him beaten. Whoa, well, that was a win. I let you win. There's less than a second between them. 
Today has been a brilliant demonstration of each gearbox's qualities. The PDK is best for ultimate speed off the line, but over a lap, the manual is more involving and is the gearbox that I would choose. Still there in reserve. It's bringing a much bigger smile on my face than it did before, that's for sure. The Coupe and Spider now have programmable. Ten years ago, there wasn't a single Jaguar on sale that can compete with a new Porsche. Today, things are very different. And this car could be a real Porsche killer.